Parita Pali, generally translated as protection or safeguard, refers to the Buddhist practice of reciting certain verses and scriptures in order to ward off misfortune or danger, as well as to the specific verses and discourses recited as Parita texts. The practice of reciting or listening to the Parita suttas began very early in the history of Buddhism. Uses In the Pali literature, these short verses are recommended by the Buddha as providing protection from certain afflictions. The belief in the effective power to heal, or protect, of the Sakka Kiriya, or asseveration of something quite true is an aspect of the work ascribed to the Purita. It is also widely believed that all night recitations of Purita by monks bring safety, peace, and well being to a community. Such recitations will also occur on auspicious occasions, such as the inauguration of a new temple or home or to provide blessings upon those who hear. Conversely, Parita discourses are recited on inauspicious occasions as well, such as at a funeral or on the death anniversary of a loved one. They may also be recited to placate antagonistic spirits. Discourse types. There are several Purita verses that are identified as such within the Pali Canon. Reverential Most Purita involve offering praise to the Buddha or, more broadly, the Triple Gem Buddha, Dhamma, Sangha. .Of these Purita, one of the best known is the Ratana Sutta where, for instance, it states in part, Whatever treasure there be either here or in the world beyond, whatever precious jewel there be in the heavenly worlds, there is not comparable to the Tathagata the perfect one. This precious jewel is the Buddha. By this asseveration of the truth may there be happiness. <laughs> Aid seeking A few parita involve the asking directly for the aid of the Buddha. Examples of this type of Purita verse can be seen in the Kandima Sutta and Surya Sutta of the Samyutta Nikaya. In these two scriptures, the deities Kanda and Surya protect themselves from the attack of the eclipse deity Rahu by reciting short verses praising the Buddha and pleading for his protection. O Buddha, the hero, thou art wholly free from all evil. My adoration to thee. I have fallen into distress. Be thou my refuge. In these cases, the Buddha is shown as specifically hearing and responding to the Purita. He enjoins Rahu to release the captive deities rather than have his head split into seven pieces. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Blessing. Another type of Purita relies on the virtue of the individual who is ascribed as reciting the Purita in the canon, rather than making reference to the virtues of the Buddha. This type of Purita can be seen in the Angulamala Sutta, the story of the murderer turned monk Angulamala. On passing a pregnant woman experiencing a difficult labor, Angulamala is moved to provide assistance. Asking the Buddha how he can help, the Buddha tells him to provide a sort of blessing to the woman by reciting a short verse proclaiming his own virtue. Sister, since I was born in the noble birth, I do not recall intentionally killing a living being. Through this truth may there be well-being for you, well-being for your fetus. This verse is now used as a blessing for expectant mothers in the Theravada Buddhist tradition. <laughs> <laughs> Forms of expression The Buddha and the Arahants the consummate ones can concentrate on the Purita Suttas without the aid of another. However, when they are ill, it is easier for them to listen to what others recite, and thus focus their minds on the Dhamma that the Suttas contain, rather than think of the Dhamma by themselves. There are occasions, as in the case of illness, which weaken the mind in the case of worldlings, when heterosuggestion has been found to be more effective than autosuggestion. In the Galana Sutta, even the Buddha himself had the seven factors of enlightenment recited to him by another monk to recover from a grave illness. While Purita texts generally are recited aloud, other mediums are known as well. In Thailand, Purita texts are printed on small pieces of cloth containing images of the Buddha or famous monks. Similar text often in the Ham script is sometimes incorporated into tattoos believed to have protective powers, known as sakyant.
Topic: Collections. Parita discourses are widely used and known, even if not necessarily understood, throughout the Theravada Buddhist world. Popular collections of Parita verses are among the most widely known Pali texts in many Theravada countries. An example of such a collection is the Sinhala Pirat Potha, the Book of Protection, also known as Maha Pirat Potha and the Katubhanavarapali, text of the four recitals. It has also been referred to as the Buddhist Bible. This collection is typically given an important place in the Buddhist home, and is even treated with veneration. The book contains a collection of 24 or 29 discourses suttas, almost all delivered by the Buddha, and found scattered in the five original collections nikayas in Pali, which form the Sutta Pitaka, the "...canonical discourses." Below, these discourses and related canonical sources are identified. See also Buddhist chant equals equals notes <laughs>